Hello and welcome to episode 68 of the Fish Tank. So, um, 68, impressive number. Uh, there was actually a song called The Summer of 68 by P- uh, Pink Floyd, let alone fact, uh, not to be confused with uh, The Summer of 69, which I'll be probably mentioned next week, I'd guess. Uh, yeah, that was by Pink Floyd, uh, 1968 as well, very famous year. Um, the year that Martin Luther King was assassinated. Uh, I always wonder how, you know, how well known you've got to be to be assassinated as opposed to just killed. It was also the year of the uh, back black black power salute, not back power. It's not, uh, they're, not, they're not promoting the use of power from your back or anything like that. You know, get solar panels attached to your back, and then uh, you know you, you could power a whole street just by walking around in the daylight. There was uh, the black power salute um, by some American athletes at the uh, 1968. Uh, Olympics. So there you go. Also, uh, no guitar played on this week's um, this week's show because, um, well, I wasn't that good to be honest. I mean, uh, the main reason I played guitar last week was uh, because it was ex- exactly 18 months since my uh, first guitar lesson. So uh, you never know. I might have another one someday, but we'll wait and see. So it's time for apology of the week. Now, uh, in the write up to last week's fish tank, I was talking about Ringo Starr's son Zach, who uh, drums for both Oasis and The Who. And to which I said that the Who is the far better band uh, than Oasis. That's just my own personal opinion. I'd also had a long discussion with someone else about this the other day. Uh, my friend Joe had said the Who's better than Oasis. I mentioned this on Jimbo Studios, and since then, apparently, he said that he's um, oh, uh, it's actually been announced that he's going to have no further involvement with Oasis. So uh, apologies to all Oasis fans if my comments and my opinions have inadvertently led to him leaving Oasis. I didn't say Oasis were a particularly bad band, you know, just saying that I thought The Who are better, with uh, better songs like uh, My Generation, Who Are You, and uh, I Can See For Miles and songs like that. So there you go. And so, what's been going on this week? Well, uh, football is in the news. Football, because, um, you know, it's good to mix sport and comedy, a bit like, you know, Stoke getting um, promoted to the Premier League kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, football's been in the news. I mean, it's the FA Cup final this weekend, uh, Portsmouth versus Cardiff. Where Cardiff, despite actually being a Welsh team, uh, compete in the English League, so uh, good on them, they've uh, overcome the language barrier, apparently it didn't take them very long to learn Portuguese and Spanish and French, but, so uh, good on them, you know, it's uh, pretty impressive. Uh, actually, talking about language barrier, there have been new sets of rules imposed on um, the foreign players, particularly non-EU players, apparently if you're a non-EU football player nowadays, you've got to prove that you can speak English for you to be allowed to play in the English Premier League, so uh, that sounds fair enough I suppose, uh, although Saying that, if you are still very good at speaking English, you probably still won't be able to communicate with Wayne Rooney anyway, because, well, you, you've got to be able to speak the language that Wayne Rooney speaks, if that's anything. And also in football, I suppose, uh, it's the Champions League final in um, a week today, I think it might be, or two weeks today. I think it might be two weeks today. Uh, yeah, so Avram Grant and Alex Ferguson, good on them. They've managed to do what uh, Hitler failed to do. And they've managed to reach Moscow. Although, fortunately, they've not killed loads of people on the way. And so, good on them. And uh, apparently it's going to cost about £1,500 to get to Moscow and back. It's going to be a ridiculously large amount of money um, just to go and watch the two teams play football. This, bear in mind, uh, FIFA apparently had said the other day that they want to become carbon neutral. And they think the best way to do that is to get about 50,000 fans to travel by aeroplane to Moscow when they could easily just reschedule the game to take place somewhere in this country so we won't have to release so much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere but there you go so if you do want to go to uh, Moscow perhaps a good ways to get there perhaps you could go in disguise perhaps you could disguise yourself as Andrei Shevchenko because uh, you'd be able to go there no one ask any questions and you won't have to play football presumably because you're just going to sit on the subs bench so uh, that, that, that could be one way to get there or I suppose if you want to get to Moscow you could probably jump onto uh, you could probably label yourself as a bag write the words to Canada on it and then just turn up at Heathrow Terminal 5 and you could possibly get yourself to Moscow. I mean, uh, I had a bit, last, last time I was in the airport I had quite a lot of trouble so I walked up to the desk went bop, 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 and then the person said no this is actually a check-in desk. So uh, easy, easy mistake to make. But there you go. Uh, or another way to disguise yourself but perhaps if you uh, disguise yourself as a person with a ticket, ticket holder and then you've got another ticket holder to disguise himself inside you and then another ticket sell, uh, holder to disguise self inside them and get an actual Russian doll thing because they love that. Yeah. So uh, what else has happened in football? Sven apparently is uh, about to get sacked. Bit harsh, uh, particularly if he gets replaced by um, Steve McLaren. Would be an ultimate insult. Um, obviously, that, that that would be tragic after what happened at the, at the England job. I mean, uh, apparently he's been told that he's got to clear his desk. 
and then dismantle it with an Allen key and take it back to IKEA. So there you go. Uh, so anyway, it's time for the celebometer. Uh, who would I like on the show this week? Well, I'd like a scientist on the show because um, I was t- I was reading the other week that apparently there is more dirt and dust in your keyboard than there is around your average toilet seat. So perhaps we'll get a scientist on the show, fully explain that one and uh, you know talk about how to clean your keyboard effectively. I personally, this week, actually decided to clean my keyboard just because of that, and it was filled with complete rubbish, basically. You know, crumbs and bits and bobs and dust and that kind of thing. So, uh, I, mean, I know they say it's like... I mean, they say similar things with chopping boards. Apparently, a chopping board's twice as um, dirty as a toilet seat. But then, if you say to your mum, Oh, yeah, I've made some sandwiches for your mum. Yeah, I've just been to chop the cheese next door on the toilet seat. She wouldn't be impressed. So, there you go. So, it's time for the uh, headline of the week now which uh, comes from the Daily Telegraph and it says uh, people who use cycles on pavements are one they could be crushed so uh, a bit harsh on the people who use uh, cycles on the pavement perhaps it's Boris Johnson with his new uh, get tough on crime policy in London a bit harsh because Boris Johnson himself is a cyclist so uh, making a rod for his own back there a little bit but there you go uh, also it's time for quote of the week as well which this week comes from Gordon Lee who is presumably a football commentator which says uh, even when you're dead and buried, you shouldn't lie down and let yourself be buried. So, um, yeah, sounds strange. Aside from the fact, obviously, you were buried twice, but, uh, yeah, obviously, he uh, recommends cremation. So, uh, I, mean, I think, technically speaking, when you're dead, generally what you do, do is lie down and be buried, but there you go. So, uh, that's all uh, for this week's show. Before I go, uh, I'd like to leave you with news. Apparently, a lorry load of turtles have uh, crashed, oh no, I've said that wrong, what a nightmare, that is shocking, oh, I don't know, terrible, terrible, I'll, I'll try again, a, before I go, uh, a lorry load of tortoises have uh, crashed into a busload of terrapins, apparently it has been described as a turtle mess, there you go, I'll see you next week, goodbye.